got a bit of a conflict going that involved massive fans and craziness. And so from that, you kind of create this little faction of bronies, people who were like, or the, I, I'm not sure if they called themselves bronies at that point. Not yet. I think they went by cults before they went by bronies. Colt and then slash B bronies. And slash B bronies. But they started making these little uh, like community, like little mini communities of people who support the show mm -hmm. and wanted to band together. And then that kind of expanded out into the whole fandom. And do you want to kind of go on from there? Obviously after the 4chan mess banning most of the most of the B and and, C and co goers decided to form their own chan, which were actually started from a thread that I believe the original thread was if you guys like those ponies so much, make your own image board. So some bronies just said, Okay, we will and by February fourteenth, Pony Chan was made. And I believe a couple of days later, Equestria Daily, which eventually became the main hub for all Brony news and all Brony related content. And it's and Equestria Daily right now, if you haven't been to that website, it is massive. Like if you could, yeah, like that's the page views. Because last it, night at seven thirty five. Yes. It's, it's huge. huge. Like when I started watching the show, they were under one million, and they had this huge celebration for one million posts. It's, I remember their ten thousand celebrations. <laughs> See, he, he, he's just a hipster brody. <laughs> he's been around before we even knew about the show. It's always funny how Seth never really believed that he was going to be that big. He said, "You guys are crazy. Why are you watching this show? I just started this vlog for fun." It's like, dude, people love the show. People love your website. People love watching all the great. All the great stuff, all the great content that's coming from the from the community.